This video tutorial will cover the advanced spring design program, in particular, garter springs. This example uh, that you'll be seeing here covers an extension garter spring. And for a, a view on garter springs, we can go for help from any of these fields. We see that a garter spring can be an extension form or a compression form. Uh, the spring is used to uh, hold force, radial force, on a cylinder, either externally or internally. And the help is linked, uh, as with all the ASD help, to the SMI encyclopedia so that you can see uh, formulas and diagrams, things like that. There's also design notes. These design notes give specifics, in this case, on things like uh, the initial tension uh, and the, the, the stresses that need to be accounted for. The form for garter springs, a lot like all the other forms, we simply tell it what we know. We may need this garter spring at uh, the installed condition to uh, provide six pounds of radial load at an ID of 1.25 inches. And we need the extreme condition, maximum stress condition, uh, to be a two inch garter ID and for that force to be 12 pounds per inch. You see that the uh, geometry of such a spring is now computed. The wire diameter, the coil, the number of coils required. During installation we might allow this to go to an inch and three quarters. And we now see the calculation done at that point. Plot is available. You see a diagram here. I'll expand that shows the uh, maximum condition, the max stress condition, the installation condition, the installed condition, and the free condition. You can also see a 3D image of this. Let's see what this would look like. Garter springs are new for ASD7. Uh, we hope that uh, more people can take advantage of the software because of this new spring type. This ends this video tutorial.